Hello fellas, how are you? Back in Melbourne. Jeez, it's been raining a bit down here. Everything's grown, nothing's dried out. It's good. I thought I'd go for the Tangare. Give that a bit of a crack. Come home, you know, have a gin and tonic about this time of the night. It's always nice. And we'll use a real tonic this time. Just put a couple of bits of lime in there and a bit of lime juice. Bit of ice, and we'll go the real tonic. Sorry about that. The old man's getting old, I think his eyes are gone, he doesn't know what he's buying these days. I've never seen him have a bloody diet anything before in his life. Unbelievable. Anyway, that's the Tangeray. We'll give that one a little try. Oh yeah. That's a nice drop, I tell you. I really like that. I buy that occasionally too when I'm going overseas. Get the the blue. My wife likes the sapphire blue a little bit better. I, I like them both. I actually this, think this one might be a little bit smoother. Yeah, uh, could be a tiny bit smoother than the blue, but. The blue's got a little bit more flavour. So there's the backyard, and you can see the rabbit over there. It's in the cage. Yeah, it's got a hole down there. We leave it in the hole now. No, I'm not moving the cage anymore. It digs holes everywhere. So I'll let it dig a big hole. It's down right up deep now. It goes deep. Come out sometimes you don't see it for ages. Then it'll just um, pop up out of the hole. So it must be a bit of a hole down there now, it's been about six months. And um, yeah, well that's my backyard. Got the guinea pigs and the uh, wild uh, marsupial rats. They're all happy to see me, I've been feeding them rigorously. They've just eaten bloody half a bag of oats between them, they're all scoffing it like they've been starved. Anyway, that's what happens when you go away for three weeks. Anyway, fellas, I'll leave you with that. I'm going to go and enjoy this. Tangeray. Lovely drop. Yep, yeah, very nice. Alright, cheers, fellas. See you soon.